Hi everyone, you're welcome to Feel Cool Mathematics. Here we have x plus 1 to the power of 3 equals 27. If you are new to this channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos. Now we want to provide a complete solution to this equation. So the question is, how many solutions are we expecting? Because we have this power of 3, we are expecting 3 solutions. So, just let's go there. We have x plus 1 to the power of 3. This is equal to 27 is 3 to the power of 3. Now, the next point is, don't equate the bases because the powers are the same. If you do that, you have just one solution from here. And we are looking for 3. So I will take x plus 1 to the power of 3, like this. And then this will go to the left. We have minus 3 to the power of 3. And everything is now equal to 0. So now we believe that we are having a um, difference of 2 cubes. And do not forget your a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the same as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. This is what we have, and we are going to apply this in this form. We are going to write this in this form. Our a now is x plus 1, so I am going to write x plus 1 in place of a. This is minus b, and our b is 1. Then, okay, our b is 3, okay, this is our b, so this will be, this is for this first um, bracket, then in the second bracket, which is this, our a squared becomes x plus 1 to the power of 2, right, let me change the bracket, we have this, then plus a right here is x plus 1, then b is 3, then plus b squared, that will be 3 squared, and everything is equal to 0. So if I am to continue, then this will give me x, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, this is one of the factors now, then here we are going to expand this. The expansion of this will give us x squared plus, you know, we're going to have 2ab, and that will be 2 times x times 1. That will give 2x, okay? The ab that I just used is um, from the standard, which I already have in my head. Then we're going to have this 1 squared, and 1 squared is still 1. So the expansion of this gave us this, then plus... We're going to expand this. 3 times x is 3x. Plus 3 times 1 is 3. Then plus 3 squared is 9. Then everything is equal to 0. Now what should we do? x minus 2 is still a factor. Then here we have x squared. 2x plus 3x will give 5x. Then plus... 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 9 is 13, then close this and equate to 0. Now it is either x minus 2 is equal to 0, or what we have here is equal to 0. From here, our x is equal to 0 plus 2, so that the value of x will be equal to 2. This is one of the solutions. Right now, I'm going to copy this and then solve from there so that we'll get two more solutions from there. Okay, so this is what we have, we've equated it to zero. So, um, we're going to use the formula which is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Mind you, 
this is quadratic general formula we are applying this because this right here is a quadratic equation so our x will now be a is 1 the coefficient of x squared so okay a is 1 b is 5 and c is 13 so in place of b now write minus 5 then plus or minus b squared that will be 5 squared then minus we are having 4, 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c which is 13 so the whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1 so if i go ahead x will be equal to minus 5 plus or minus 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 13 is 52 right okay so we will divide this by 2 now the next thing is to subtract what we have here right do not take the square root of 5, um, 25 first you have to subtract before finding the square root okay so to continue from here our x will now be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 52 will give us minus 27 then we divide by 2 I can pick this negative from here so x will now be negative 5 plus or minus square root of 27 times square root of negative 1 all over 2 okay so to go ahead x will now be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 times i because square root of negative 1 is i then we divide by 2 now we go ahead so that x will be this is minus 5 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 then that 3 times this i will give 3i then this is root 3 remaining over there so we divide this by 2 I believe what I've done is understandable there so from here now we have two in one solution so let me write all the three solutions together we got x before which is x1 and it's equal to 2 then we are going to have x2 that is from here we got minus 5 plus or minus um, 3i root 3 divided by 2 this is our x2 then the third value of x x3 is minus 5 sorry this is supposed to be plus alone okay so that the next value will now be my negative here so we have negative 3i then root 3 divided by 2 so these are the solutions to the equation thank you for watching